According to the Daily Mail, across China, wet markets are reopening. These wet markets are gross. <laughs> I think yep. they should shut down those things right away. Uh, they're just absolutely disgusting, selling exotic animals. That's a place where consumers buy the meat of wild animals to eat, including bats. So let's go to a wet market, I guess. This is probably going to be a little bit different than many of the other kind of like, uh, you know, shock videos that you'll see um, on Facebook or whatever. Uh, this is basically just a normal run of the mill neighborhood wet market. Uh, I just kind of wanted to share the actual reality of the situation instead of this kind of weird twisted version that seems to be going around online. So. Okay, so first I just kind of want to talk definitions real quick. So what is a wet market? Uh, this comes from Hong Kong English, which ends up coming from the uh, original Cantonese, where you would have things that are dried goods, gan huo. So stuff like gan huo would be things like, um, you know, dried seafood, would be things like canned goods, and those would be things that would be in like the gan huo section of a market. Uh, stuff that isn't dried goods is sold in a wet market. So that would be stuff like fresh produce, fresh meats, this kind of thing. So in some ways, your local farmer's market would be considered a wet market here. So, you know, for example, like you can get all different kinds of fruit and vegetable and meats. And like, honestly, if you're somebody that loves food, these are just awesome places to walk around, hang out, buy stuff. Uh, they're all shipped fresh every day from farms, and they're honestly one of the great things about living in China. All kinds of tofu products, including tofu pots. My favorite thing. Oh, jafuju. Maybe jafuju is my favorite thing. Okay, so hygiene standards. Um, this is honestly going to vary wildly from wet market to wet market. If you go to like a wet market in Hong Kong nowadays, um, you know, the hygiene standards, are, they're pretty good. It's, you know, it's, maybe it's not quite as nice as going into a Whole Foods, but, you know, it's within that category. Um, within mainland China, it's really going to depend on the market. Uh, what I would say for this one that you're looking at right now, I would call this about average, maybe slightly above average. Um, they do a pretty decent job here, uh, but what you're seeing isn't necessarily out of the ordinary. So I can already start to feel you getting a little bit antsy. You might be thinking, what? It's a Chinese wet market. Where are all of the exotic live wild animals? Where are all the bats? But you see, that's the frustrating bit. That's the reality of the situation is that most markets don't have anything to do with exotic live wild animals. They're just markets that's the same as your farmer's market, a little bit dirtier, a little bit more variety, and they always have fresh meat. Here's the point. I know that people are scared right now. Uh, it's a scary time, and during scary times, people want scapegoats. But this is a wet market right here. It's a normal wet market, and there's no bats, there's no pangolins. It's just a place where people shop. So yelling on social media that it's open like it's some kind of like terrible thing is just disconnected from reality so i think especially during these kinds of times it's important for us to keep that connection to reality because there's people out there that want to manipulate you last time people in america were this scared we ended up going into two wars one of them endless and another pointless so really just try to keep your head straight ask questions and yeah